Okay, next up, um, we're going to do this blue and orange. And uh, if you can see it, it's the third row from the bottom up, first row to the left of the middle. So one, two, three, that's pin 31. Let's look for 31 here. Pin 31, AC relay control. So um, we are actually going to um, cut this at about a foot from the ECU in case the AC system ever wanted to go in. But that would be uh, something you want to keep if uh, you're installing the Subaru actuated AC system. Okay, and we have a brown, or I'm sorry, a red brown. And that was right below the AC relay control. So second from the bottom, and then uh, over to the left one from the middle. And that's pin 58. Pin 58 is the malfunction indicator lamp, also known as a check engine light. So we're gonna also cut this about a foot. Um, the reason being, this is OBD2 system, um, and I actually uh, prefer to run OBD gauges versus like having lights annoy me because you're gonna have engine codes most of the time. So the way that the malfunction indicator lamp works is this provides the ground, the ECU provides a ground for a lamp. So you can get like a little LED or something, a uh, 12 volt LED from Radio Shack or something. Three more wires. We'll do the brown yellow and that's the second row up, three over to the left. Second row up, three over is pin 60. Pin 60 is the AC switch. So um, I'm gonna cut this at a foot but if you want to um, have your engine idle up slightly for a big load, like big lights, or you know, if you have AC, obviously um, you can um, basically hook that up to a switch to provide 10 to 13 volts, or you know, when uh, ignition switches on, or 13 to 14 volts when you're running, and uh, it'll idle up the engine. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark that and cut it at a foot. Okay, we have the blue-green, and this is the test mode connector. It is in the uh, bottom corner here, and that is pin 84, and that should be on this page. Pin 84, test mode connector. When you ground this connector to the other green side, it's a black red that's a ground when you ground this it puts the, the computer into test mode and test mode allows you to test functions such as your radiator fans pulsing on and off fuel pump pulsing on and off and various other sensors and uh, that happens when you plug those together then turn the key to ignition on it will it will test those things for you. That's the way I use it. So I'm gonna go ahead and label it and keep it long for now. And the final wire that we have to uh, identify is this black blue. And I believe this is going to be <laughs> the tachometer. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven over, one up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven over, one up is 64. So we're just gonna find it on our sheet here. There it is, 64. And that is engine speed output. So that is the RPMs, essentially, engine speed. So this is gonna go to a tachometer. If you have a tachometer and a Vanagon, you can wire it to that and modify the tachometer slightly. If you have an aftermarket tachometer, it will work with that. But what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna cut it 
at a foot because I like to use the OBD gauges digital tachometer and I'm just gonna label it and keep it up here okay so we have our big group of wires that were unidentified from the ECU connector we now have them identified there are two other wires that are unidentified this purple comes from the engine connectors the ones in the engine bay that connect to the engine harness this purple is the water temperature uh, gauge so water temperature if you choose to install a water temperature gauge aftermarket one then I would also use the aftermarket gauge sender along with this so at the engine trace this wire back to where it plugs in on the engine itself and put in an aftermarket temperature gauge since this is going into a bus, I'm just gonna leave it with this group of wires here. Label it, of course. And it is going to um, probably go unused since they're probably gonna go with the Wi-Fi OBD2 gauges for water temperature. So I'm gonna label this water temperature. They can choose to install an aftermarket gauge or not. And in some years, this is actually a white with a green stripe. Just an FYI. Okay, the other wire that comes from the engine connectors is this green. And over the years, it's always been green. This is oil pressure switch. So there's an oil pressure switch underneath the alternator on the engine. And that tells you whether you have oil pressure or not. That's all it does. It doesn't give you an actual reading of oil pressure. It's just a switch. So I'm actually gonna connect this or label this and keep it labeled here at the engine so that the, uh, the owner of the harness can then install this to the VW bus oil pressure switch wire in the engine bay. So that wraps up our identification of wires. What we're next going to look at is a just a pin by pin look at where everything goes. It's going to be a bit of a boring episode for those that are, you know, that don't care about that. But some of you do, so that's going to be up next.